Uh, police in Arizona solved the murder of a Minnesota woman thanks to a big advancement in DNA testing. 31 year old Allison Feldman's death three years ago was a mystery until a few days ago. As Jeff Wagner shows us, police say a test that has never been used in Arizona solved the crime and brought relief to Feldman's relatives here in Minnesota. It's been just very overwhelming. Like, it's kind of hard to believe that this just happened. After more than three years. I have always kept hope alive, but it, it, it's gotten harder. Kelly Weinblatt finally heard the words she's been desperately waiting for regarding the unsolved murder of her sister, Allison Feldman. We are 100% confident we have the right suspect. Scottsdale police in Arizona arrested 42-year-old Ian Mitchum. Investigators believe he's the man who killed Feldman in her home in 2015. We exhausted over that three-year period every single lead we had. Investigators found DNA evidence at the scene. Recently, they used what's called familial DNA testing, connecting the sample to a sibling of Mitchum's who was already in the prison system. Um, Weinblatt says her father break learned break of the breakthrough break first, break then told her in person. He pulled me aside and said, I talked to the police today and the familial DNA results are in and there's a hit and I, I that was, it just kind of is a blur after that. Weinblatt says she thinks about her sister daily, even wanting to visit her gravesite and tell her of the arrest. The search for a suspect is finished, but justice through a murder conviction awaits. Certainly knowing that he's not walking the streets tonight and living his life um, is com somewhat comforting for us. Weinblatt says her family keeps in regular contact with the Scottsdale Police Department and says they'll be flying out there in the near future as the court proceedings begin. And she also wanted to say thank you to Scottsdale Police, the Arizona Department of Public Safety for the DNA testing, and the media for keeping her sister's story in the spotlight. All right. Thank you, Jeff. Mm -hmm.